المطلوب الصمت فيما يتعلق بزعماء الدول العربية الذين Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. This donation will be a sadaqah jari for you because every person that comes a step closer to Allah through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends. The filthy dirt bag of this earth is Satan. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy him into pieces. And may Allah allow us to see the day that happens. Here's a video of his message to the Arab leaders. المطلوب الصمت فيما يتعلق بزعماء الدول العربية الذين يقلقون من أجل مستقبلهم ومستقبل الشرق الأوسط أقول لهم شيء واحد أنتم عليكم الالتزام والوقوف ضد حماس. So guys, as you can see, Subhanallah, if you want to keep your interests things that benefit you, remain silent. Now on this matter, obviously I have to be fair. In Islam, to wage war, to boycott, not to boycott, these are and under the, obviously, the decision of the rulers. Of course, there should be things that's done. And we know from the evidence, there is clear evidence from the Quran and Sunnah, brothers and sisters, and when there is evidence from the Quran and Sunnah, we have no choice but to hear and submit, no matter how much we hate it. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did do business with the Romans and the Jews, and the Mushrikeen for that matter, while there was war, outright war. There were times when he boycotted, there were times when he didn't. We have, we have clear, clear evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah for that matter, brothers and sisters. So, but the thing is here though, the fact that he is so boldly telling the Arab leaders to be quiet, just boils my blood. And that, yes, the Arab leaders, sadly, sadly, are quiet this matter for God knows what. Can we make good assumptions? Maybe. Can someone choose not to? I don't blame them. But the point is what? For this Satan, this Iblis, this scum of this earth, and may Allah break his back, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to see it, his end, inshallah, and this occupation, and this massacre, and this genocide that's taken place. But as the Arab leaders, for them, wallahi, brothers and sisters, it just shows you, like the Prophet ﷺ said, nations are going to come together. And when they asked him, oh, Messenger of Allah, why? Because Allah is going to take out the fear of, the fear of your enemies that they have towards you, and going to place the love of the dunya. And that's exactly, brothers and sisters, situation. From our leaders to ourselves, we are too busy with our wants and our gains and what benefits us. We will go to a Palestine protest, we will miss Salah. We'll go to a Palestine protest, but we will not boycott Coca-Cola because we love it. You know, we love it. We would go and give a donation to Palestine, but we won't sacrifice to the level where if it was booking a holiday. There's so many things that we don't do. So instead of pointing fingers, brothers and sisters, we need to look internally. What are we sacrificing? Are we genuinely sacrificing for our wealth? Are we genuinely sacrificing from things that we want? Question yourself this. Wallahi, question yourself this. Do we really care about our brothers and sisters? This is the same goes for me. Do we wake up at Tahajjud? Do we make dua for them sincerely? Do we do this? May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive the leaders. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for not doing enough. We ask Allah, wallahi, if Allah takes us to account for this matter pertaining to the Palestinian brothers and sisters, wallahi, we have oppressed them. We haven't done enough. Going to the protest is not enough. Wallahi, we haven't boycotted our sins. We don't even know what Tawheed is properly. We neglect our relationship with the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're here trying to call about the rights of the human beings. The haq of Allah comes before any human being for that matter. We violate that day in, day out. So the Arab leaders, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them. And if they are corrupt, munafikin, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroy them. That's all we can say. And inshallah, this Iblis Satan, his end will come and we will live to see it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. This donation will be a sadaqah jari for you because every person that comes a step closer to Allah through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can.